In today's talk of the town, the word weakness has no place for children with diverse strengths at the Barclay School in Fairfield County. The school uses unconventional lessons as an alternative teaching method to learn life skills, and it's been so successful, the school just moved to a larger location. Dr. Jillian Barclay Smith is the school head. These are some of the unconventional methods of teaching you have. Absolutely. I think this goes right along with our, uh, our curriculum. Yeah. And um, we have two products here that the children are involved in. In fact, this is their business. And the first one is made with the help of our rabbit, Toby. Mm -hmm. And it's a fertilizer. It's an organic fertilizer that you can put on the garden and your vegetables and wonderful things will happen if you and do that. And it's called Bunny's Brew and, and the kids put a little bunny tail on and it. And it's, it's all so done cute. with um, recycled bottles as well. And Fantastic. this is the children's business. And another thing that we are now doing also is Barclay Beans where the children have learnt to roast coffee beans and we put the sticker on and uh, we've been very successful in both our products. We I have been out to your facility. Yeah. I want to show you some of the video out there in Fairfield County and this video video will show the school that you have been in, but now you've had to move because you've outgrown the facility. It, it came, years ago, people barely even knew about the Barclay School. That's right. It's a wonderful problem to have uh, Dawn do. We moved in August and we're still in Ridgeway. Um, we love Ridgeway. We've been totally embraced by the community. And now we're out on Cook Road in a much, much larger facility. We have a library, we have an art room, we have a garden, and of course we have all our animals as well. For parents who are watching right now and they say, my child has trouble learning in a traditional school setting. Mm -hmm. What is it you offer them? We're a very different school. Our approach is uh, unconventional, I think, in a very positive way. We work with the children individually, um, very small classes, a lot of hands-on activity. And I think the major difference for us is we meet the child exactly where they are. So we don't go by a calendar. If the child is eight years old and not reading at an eight-year-old level, we'll meet the child exactly where they are and move them forward. We do a lot of individualized um, teaching. And for parents who would like more information about your school or just to support you, or, and support can be by buying the bunnies Absolutely. brew, the fertilizer, or the beans, you have an open house coming up next Thursday. We do. We have been painting and decorating, so we would be thrilled if people would uh, come out and visit on next Thursday between 1 and 6, and the children will be doing the tours of our new facility. And if anybody has any questions, if they'd like to contact me um, on the Barclay School website, I'd be delighted to show them around and see if it would be a good fit for their child. Well, as I've gotten to know you over the years, you're amazing. What you do with the students is amazing. And I, I, I'm just so glad to be able to bring awareness to our viewers who are sitting there going, how am I going to help my child learn? This Thank may you. be the alternative they need. But one thing is important, Dawn dear, is that we're not doing this alone. We have so much support from the community. For mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I know you've supported us for many years. Ridgeway supports us. We have many wonderful volunteers. It truly is a community effort, but the children reap the benefit of that. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Dr. G, as you're known affectionately. And again, that information will be on my Facebook page a little later today, but it's next Thursday, so look at my Facebook page later today if you'd like to be part of the open house. Dr. G, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back.